Hello everyone, this is Sierra's Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our eventual Saving Your Disaster campaign as we continue for episode 5 from turn 114 in the spring season of 213. So we continue our war with the Kingdom of Yen and we had a small hiccup where we didn't take out the settlement last turn. They came out to fight us and we beat them, so not too problematic if I can select I my army. There we go. Uh, we might need reach, but we already committed this way, it's fine. So we didn't get a heal, and we need to beat this group up again. Uh, delegate, there is an army right on our rear. But I think this is probably not going to have that much casualty. 82. Yeah, acceptable to save some time. I don't want her army to be on the field, and that is going to go away because she's going to get taken out. I think I'm just going to execute her. Well, we get sieged. That's the question. Yep, they can definitely come siege us, which is not great. We can do a few things. First, we use our spy to poison Wang Zhong's army. Ah... Uh, it expired, so this is going to be rough. We can only poison once. There's no one left to target. I think we just pull them back. We already used it on her. And everyone else already have... Yeah, I think we just pull Lijia out. We can use some of his points before he leaves. Trade some points over, and you can do one more action, essentially. I don't think it's going to do anything here. Alright, so he's done. He summoned another army, but not the characters we want. We can't target either of the administrators. They're not likely to become spies. Ready, kind of checked once. Like, I think I got Sahodun down to seven points. Still no good. We'll try again. And we'll have an empty slot to take a look at it soon. Let's build up another. Interference. Yeah, not much to do here either. Drop him down, but he's not going to turn. We'll check once we get an extra spy slot. Which we might be able to get one now if we really wanted to. Right here. Or we can go get ourselves some cataphracts. I think we'll take the spy for now. There's a reduction in cost of cover cost. Could have used that, but right now that's fine. Sahuldun is willing to flip. That is a good find. See if we can drop Yan down a little bit. Activate this army. We're not able to reach either one of them. He's been poisoned a couple times. Our path is this way. We leave this vulnerable. We can create a vassal now. But we can't get a trade deal. If we lose it to this army. Hmm. Either way, it's not super ideal. I don't really want to rank it up. I also don't want them to be running around, so maybe we set a trap. 27% movement. Yeah, we'll be able to cover it. I don't think they have night battle, so even if they 
don't trigger the ambush and just hit the town, we'll be there. They're too weak to deal with that. They could force march this group and then double team us, which is definitely a possibility. We'll just have to fight that. Like, we just have to fight them if that's the situation. Alright, Sun Tzu's forces are pretty chill. I think we can go over here. I want to kill them. But this war... Five more turns. That's way too long. Guess we just have to go this way. It's only Xun Yu's health. We don't move much farther, so I guess it's fine. They should go back and take care of them. We can wipe out Matong's faction this turn, or we can leave him alone. We would have to fight this. And then maybe we can ask them for a peace deal. We don't have to be the one who wipes out the faction. Less chance of grudges. Although, you know, we've beaten them down quite a few times. I'm sure the grudge is ready there. Alright, these two have turtle. They're not gonna stay inside, are they? This thing's gonna so easily light a blaze for 100% settlement destruction. Okay, we'll, we'll hit the towers. And of course the rest of the town when we do hit the towers. And then the fire will spread pretty easily. We'll hit that as well. Actually, let's just hit here. It will spread once we hit, we overshoot some of the shots. And we'll light the fire there. Then we want to hit this area. Basically, I think this corner is kind of hard to hit. We might have to hit a shot here. But yeah, settlement damage goes quick. That's 20 points morale. Just poof. Fire one over here. We hit the tower? I think we did. Oh, and the flame. They got burned by the oil. And this fire will go all the way over here. I think this is the only little segment that's not going to catch fire. We're going to hit that once. And we should get 100% pretty soon. And the rest is just fire will on the unit, but we could get closer for that. Then let's call these guys too. Lots of firepower on them as well. Alright, we'll take the duel. Alright, that's all the help he's going to get. That's really all the help he needs. Mm, 
They have high range with those Chow Hunters, 250. That was quick. Action leader is probably not going to duel us. I mean, they're just so few archers. That's the problem with cavalry. Only get a quarter size. We're going to drown you out in arrows before they can do anything to us. They still don't want to come out. We'll gladly march up. I think that patch is 3%, which is why it's not 100%. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe it's just this haven't burned yet. That's not included. Just this is the last 2% here. I mean, we've got the 20, full 20 point here. That's why every unit routes so easily. We don't need to walk up. Our crossbowmen will finish everyone. Even the general gets killed by these. They have such high damage. Trying something? Let's show him a magic trick and make him disappear. And he's dead. I think it's over. That looks like a civilian. So many unit hidden in this smoke screen here. All right, Maton sort of had his last stand. He lost a few units here or there. No big deal. We'll release for fondness. We'll love to get his units. I will take him in. Now he has disloyal as a trait. I see that. So we want two of his items instead of just one. So we'll grab both. I mean, it's nice that he's energetic and tough. Is there a chance we can reroll his bad trait? No. So I'm just going to fire him. Don't want any turncoat situation within our own faction. We're actually neutral at 400 right now. We can force the trade to be on time, which is excellent. But oh, I actually prefer this. Skill tree reset for Guo Jia. We did just pick him up. We haven't used him yet. His skill tree is, yep, not super great. So this is fine. Peasantry on top of that. I'll take a set item. That's good enough. Industry is really all we need. I don't need to kill him. I got the fondness on him. Yeah, we can stop their movement and then maybe we don't get double teamed. This is pointless, this is pointless. We're good. He's willing to sign a peace deal. Is he willing to sign abdication? Close. Yeah, 
I don't really want the peace. I want all your land. So unless there's a piece into an abdication or something like that, we won't be interested. They still have a few armies, so I'm sure they're willing to fight a bit longer. Oh, they appear out of nowhere. All right, let's negotiate this peace deal. They're not willing, then they can die. We might lose this, we have to go back and fight it. Actually, give us a few generals. Actually, I don't even think we need a few generals. I can beat this with just a garrison. All right, here. Can't offer too much help. By March, I still can't get anywhere important. I'm gonna trust that group to handle themselves. He's gonna run back. Oh, he stays. Days to die? I think we're still going to be on friendly territory. Mm, just out of friendly territory, but we can come right back in. This is totally fine. We'll come over here. We're going to drag the garrison and the force out, pound them with our range. That ally is here. Hmm, this is the tough guy. It's just the weapon. We have to run him down with our cavalry. I think that's the solution. We want the fight to soften up the defenders in these two groups, and then we'll siege them again, of course. This army is already ruined. It's raining! Okay. I would say that's the first time I think the weather has been helping them. So I don't think we need to burn the forest as much. Being nice and open. Get some shots on them. We'll still do fire. I think the damage on them, my units are still there. It'll take them a while to get to us. We can look for a fight. As long as it's not Dai Lai, we can deal with it. We can fight her. Can we beat Lady Jurong? Wow, their morale is uh, over 100 points. Very confident bunch. I think I beat her. Which nasty and everything. Ah, getting knocked down is not nice. We might die. I mean, there's a possibility we lose this. But we're gonna test her. We want to win slowly, so they they move past us, and enraged Dylai doesn't just chase us down, whack us with her his mace, and kill us, which very well could happen. They have a lot of tiger units. All right, we're supposed to lose early and then bounce back late, but I don't know if we are bouncing back here. 
I should cho -toy -way -shot. Maxed it. Double damage with a pretty decent weapon. Just have to evade a few shots, right? We can dodge enough hits. Got her. Uh, not angry. Okay. Got away with one there. Uh, gotta run before the javelins come. It's gonna hurt. Run. We're probably not gonna be able to do much with using going forward. He's just way too low of health right now. I'm surprised she doesn't want to fight us. Well, if they release a tiger on us, we will get killed too. Yeah, we're just not beating this mace. The melee evasion debuff pretty much kills the only thing going for us. Coming to range soon. Oh, they sent someone over. They look for us. Okay, so we have very little health, but if we're dismounted, I think we can kill her. Our siege weapon's going. Right down the middle, perfect. Oh, we lost her? There. Go, 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 go. Get her by surprise. Alright, Get back on our horse then. That's been taken care of. Uh, most of these are spear units, and then there's so many tigers that's gonna get released. It's gonna be messy for the cavalry to find an opening. I think we have to try. Are we mounted again? That general's probably gonna bounce back. I think it's best, given our current health level, we just go after her. Right. Go after her and try to tap her a couple times with a charge. There we go. Now she's really low. She's not coming back. I can move forward a little bit back here. We're gonna wait till they get into our archery range. I kind of want to wait till they release their tigers. I mean, our tribuche is doing a good job of whittling down some of their tigers before they are released. There's a couple that's being released right now. Actually, just no formations is fine.
mean, we're gonna run out of ammo pretty quickly. Fire archers trying to get into range. We'll teach them what it means to actually have fire arrows. Alright, this unit is just way too stranded. We should be able to pick off this one guy. Yeah, and we'll chase it down because it's in the garrison. Almost want to pull because all this spear here and potential friendly fire apparently. Cavalry is going to be best used to take out the generals, so I think we actually want to go bigger loop. Our job is to try to snipe that light right here. Hmm. Wanted the cataphract to snipe that, but that's not possible. Yeah, it got bogged down and got just killed here. I think the, the slingers contributed with the suppression. See if we can chunk that light right here. Tigers disrupting our line, but we made sure to block. Put him here. Go to the middle. Allies killed. Yeah, pretty much gonna use our cavalry to kill the generals. Unbreakable ones will take a little bit of time. Let's try to kill the breakable ones first. Buried in arrows. We'll take the win. It'll be a follow-up fight. We lost the cataphract. They're not that good, right? You bogged them down, a lot of enemy infantry, they're still gonna get killed. I think suppression hurt them quite a bit. I think slinger suppression negates most of the charge damage. <laughs> We could recruit. I mean, he's very old. Not bad. I like javelin spear guards. There's no capture here. Oh, 
Alright, basically buried them. I think we we moved every army. Well, yeah, I had to reset. Now he's more useful on the field. We need to get him on the field. Not sure where. I don't think we need any more help in the north. Potentially, it's about attacking them. This is definitely a hot spot. But I'm okay with losing this. This feels more like a buffer county. I feel like if war starts, we probably want to wipe this out. Uh, let's raise it in Pengchong. So if Guojia is coming out, we can add one of our champion, I guess. I mean, we have other choices coming back to us, like Li Jue, and then eventually maybe Xia Houdun. Right now, we don't really have to pay for our actual army, but we can just plan his army out. Wait for some of the spies to return to us. And save a bit of money for development. I don't think it's time for that. We only have 4k in the bank. It's still corruption reduction first, so if we can find a place that needs it. Alright. That's pretty much where we stand. 11.6. I kind of want their capital here, and then I'm okay with a peace deal. We had a chance to force that through. We need to get stronger and stronger and try to peel these factions off. So yeah, that's still pretty far. We don't want to be fighting them with so many vassals. Alright, we're defending that. Let's see how they approach us here. This army is a bit weak. Fall for the trap. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I think we can abuse our replenishment rate. Just wipe them out here. Yeah, most of the casualties going to be on the garrison anyways. Alright, they stayed and sieged. Or they went to Bohai. This is just funny business. Suiciding. Okay. Still on the map. Not dead yet. Oh no, he's gone. Action wipe. They don't want to peace out with us. Not yet. He sees what happened with the uh, Maltone's faction. He didn't take our county. He had an open attack on one. He didn't take it. Not bad. Promoted to government. You didn't know he was poisoning you guys. I mean, his position doesn't doesn't get us anything. How long does it take you to get back to us? All right, this is the tech that we want, and then we can make vassals as well. So it's pretty key. Yan Mo Di Jun, 
We'll try not to forget that we have this siege on. We can catch him while he's on march. And then potentially we can march to assist. Not extracting. This does knock him out. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be alive, but he's not gonna be able to take any spy actions this turn. We might disown him at this point. Ah, uh, the extraction. Uh, no. Let's go back. Right, he's gonna be on cooldown, and all his actions are gonna be gone because he got knocked out. I don't think we'll be snatching him. I'm just gonna be disowning him here. And maybe a reload. Is it because he's on cooldown that they don't let us do this this turn? Kinda wanna see that slot open. Guess we won't be able to. Right now they're in a very bad situation. After we beat this down, we might be able to force application, I think. He's out of armies. Two turns. Maybe one turn, maybe still two turns. We'll see how that movement goes. Yeah, they had a chance to take this. Or oh, actually, they know they can't beat us. Even the AI knows they can't beat us. That makes sense. They're still attritioning, and they're going to attrition on the way here. We take this next turn, and then we can ask them for the peace deal. So we don't have to worry about this army. They can't do anything. We'll take this, drag them in. Easy wipe. Don't have to take the night battle. Now I think we will take this path down to here and set up the potential attack this side. We're going to extend the chase down here. They have healthy generals. They might try to take this. I don't really want to slow down our assault for them. Even though this army is in pretty bad shape. I mean, it's just one cataphract unit that got completely wiped. She's going to retreat, and then we're going to be stuck in the mountains. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to go for this. All right, the pacing here is fine. They have nothing to do. Guess we'll sit here. Eventually, we'll attack Tone Path the moment we go to war with them. Suicide? Action wipe? I think so. Yep. We'll come back and fight that. This should be pretty easy. making a little bit more money this year. The siege actually hurt our buildings. Local... Yeah, let's reduce local army supplies. Giving that away, giving that away, both at end of turn. This we're keeping. Alright, let's finish this and create some vassals. Uh, I don't think we have to actually methodically siege this. Given that we have a second army here, we can just quickly get rid of them.
I'm gonna move them out. Can they get inside? They can't. Okay, so you guys stay inside. Let's make a vassal here. Uh, we need a character that we don't want. We're an officer. We would like to keep weak, observant, not a family member, no special unit. You're the winner. Trade agreement. Guarantee autonomy. Yeah, why don't you support our resources as well? Um, we don't have a place to spend it. I could do another assignment, but it would still be net positive overflow, but why not ask for it? We could even ask the stone pig back. Let's make it five points. Absolutely loves us. And his personality is trusting. Okay, so he's one of these vassals I don't think I can deliberate. We're not worried about him dragging us into any wars in the north because we already kind of cleared everything with everyone. Then we got to pick another character who we don't like. She's family. He's on assignment. Also family. Why is Yuan Yan not family? She is. Why are we paying her? She's in the court position? Oh, right. She's in the imperial household. I'm not getting rid of her. Anyone with bad traits then? The bandit character. Kind of like that. Unbreakable strategist could be a good administrator. Don't hate that. Bandit character. Tranquil, also not bad. All right, so she's family, but it's unlikely we'll ever use her. So let's make her a vassal. Peaceful, another good diplomatic personality rule right there. I mean, we don't need the stone pig, but we might as well get it. Give them a bit more food. Make it five points. They'll all love me. Two trade deals out of our... So we're still missing two trade deals. We can still make a couple more vassals if we want, but I think we're in a good place. Uh, city build. Don't eat this. Don't eat this. This I also probably don't need. We have enough deployables. We still don't have our own tea, but getting a little cocky here. We'll go with the tea. Actually, let's not let's not ask for trouble because the moment we we go to war with the kingdom of Wu, we're gonna have that problem. Sixteen extra points. They have that assignment. They have that assignment. They do not have that assignment. Go get a few levels. We can change them to the better assignment because we can now afford the better assignment. All right, what is your stance on abdicating? Very close. Recent losses in battle is not hard enough. Let's swing it a bit more next turn. I think we, we used everything we can this turn. I think we keep Pingyuan. And it is cheaper to build this turn and we do have extra money. So let's build those. All 
All right, I think we're good. Make another push for some of these spies. I can maybe swap him and pick up. Oh, we actually want her. We don't have an open slot right now. I can't see. We'll target him. Have to wait till he comes back into the office. He got taken off the field too. He's no longer administrator. Really want her. We'll see what happens next turn. Can't use any actions this turn. Minus 18. Yeah, we are just going to overflow a little bit. Oh, is he going to go for Emperor Seat? We don't want that. Hunter Racing Moima. back. Attack yellow turbans. How about no? I don't need the money. I don't need that war either. He's coming back? I don't want him to come back. Is he gone? Oh, he's gone. Okay, that's fine. As long as he's not taking up a slot. Yen Allen is ours. We're taking that. Alright, he's going to go to zero. Maybe he'll just turn over the commander to us. It's a possibility. The heir, let's drop him low as well. Lin Troll is the only one who we have not kind of snatched. Drop him to seven. Alright, so we got everyone who is unique in the faction. Even if we don't confederate him, I don't feel quite bad. We can actually pull everyone. We're never going to get him unless we confederate. He's a zero. There's a chance he just comes join us. Give us some points. Give us another some points. Another one, then we're going to extract him. He can't be extracted this turn, but he can. Before we leave, we do Empower Trade, and then we're also gone. We'll also drop with Empower Trade, and then we're also gone. Oh no, he already had that. He did not. I don't know what we can do here, though. He's still Hedong. Okay. He has a good skill tree. If he's not a spy, we can maybe grab him. I uh, can't trust him. Right, he's gunning for this. He can beat this, and then he becomes Emperor? Alright, we need, we need to beat him down a little bit more. Take this. Take another one of his settlements. I don't think it's going to swing 7 points. 2.3. It's close. Yeah, another army on the field, maybe. Maybe if this capital gets under siege, maybe we'll get there. We'll see. Okay. 
Hopefully we can delegate this. Yes, we can. 100% capture rate. He's dead. Now we can peace out with them. 20 points. How about you be our vassal? We don't even have to guarantee anything. He's very happy already. We can guarantee him later. Nothing else. Um, territory trade? Can we get anything? We can get the horse. I will take the horse. Alright, we can now promise them this. I also give them one food. Uh, I mean, it's not like looters weren't going to declare war on us. I mean, this could potentially lead to a looter problem, but if we rank it up, it's not going to be that bad. Alright, we don't need this. We don't need this. Should convert that large city. Let's downgrade it. Can we trade with you? Underdog, another pretty good one. He's not going to betray us. Fire. We can probably make Guojia's army now. Maybe that will build up our military strength a little bit more for the abdication. Kind of problematic. We'll take care of them. All right, they don't mind each other. That's good enough. And I guess we're waiting for uh, one of the champions, either Ventral or Xiao Houyuan, to sort of slot in here. As a third. 71, also way up there in age. Maybe Yen El would have to replace him when he dies of old age. Yeah, I don't think the value is going to change, but if we can... 2.9. Ooh. Our military strength went up. I think it's because of the peace deal. We have one less enemy, basically. Can we end up confederating someone? Maybe that will increase our strength a little bit more. I mean, I could confederate them. All the way down here. Doesn't provide us much. A coastal threat to Sun Tzu's armies over here, but I don't think that's going to matter.
Oh, very close. Seven points. I could also weaken their coalition, right? That's the other option we have. Yeah, I, I don't think we have a way to deal with this. Um, let's just see what happens when their capital gets sieged. I think I moved all the armies. Yep. Nope. All right, he sieges it. I mean, he's got to summon a new army somewhere. I can take maybe two more of his territories. This ter Ooh, they're coming. Uh, I don't really care about anyone in the faction. It's been knocked down again. We want to leave. Yeah. Goodbye. Well, let's do Xia Holdun. Get the Cao Cao game back together. We even have one of the Tiger and Leopard for good time's sake. And we got a Ye Vanguard Cross, but we'll take that. Team Joy Halberd, that's not a bad unit, but it's kind of way too late game to keep that unit. We'll play running these. And then over here, what do we have? We have Fire Arrows, so we're good. We'll still take a couple Juggernauts for fun. Those are always nice to play around with. Alright, that army is good. Good armor on him. Alright, we'll, we'll recruit him. We need to use some points anyways, we're just wasting them. He has them under siege. Are you willing to... 3.3, okay, so take two territories, I think we got it. Take this. And I think Sun Tzu can take a gate path. Maybe it's enough that we don't just take the gate path? Oh, so close. We can summon a general on the field. I think that would do it. So we don't even need to waste the army movement this turn for that. Where would we summon? Alright, we summoned one here. Let's summon one and don't, because I'm pretty sure we have to fight this group first before we fight Sun Tzu's armies. Eventual Yen out in an army and then plus a strategist. So we're just looking for that strategist. I mean, we could just dump Yang Chou on the field. We just recruited him. Yeah, why not? I'm not going to do the units yet, because I think we need those units for the point one. There we go, perfect. He's going to be joining us now. We'll take all their land instantly. It's basically confederation. We absorbed a few armies. They have one army left on the field, including Huang Zhong there. So we got all three unique in this one army. Excellent. They were all the way over here. All right, you guys stay here. We're probably going to end up recalling you. We'll wait to do that. We have the old term rebel situation over here. Not a big deal. This is when we kind of turn on them. Not, not here to kill him, but... We're going to test his uh, abdication value, or not, uh, confederation value. All right, we're going to release him to make him like us. I don't need anything back, 
But in case we take a trade deal, in case we can't confederate him for a while, we can still get paid for now. Shared enemies, that, mm, sure. But I'll, we'll do this first, or together. Alright, we liberated him. Now we're looking at this number here. It's going to be negative 3.7. So it's not exactly positive, but we can ultimatum him. And it wouldn't be a bad option for us. We would just take control of the north. Except for Domin. Are we worried about this? Sort of. That's why we have this army here. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. Uh, she's young enough. We could take her in. Ah, a gold one. And then we're turning south towards the coast. We're going to march or else we're not going to make it next turn. Yeah, we're just basically going to press down to Shu. They're going to take the coastal route. Ooh, we got a Lu Bu movement. We have to jump on Yuntan this turn. I think if we wait, the longer we wait, the worse is going to be. Because he might get vassalized by someone else. Or, yeah, that's probably the worst case scenario. And that someone else will basically be Sun, Sun Jian. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. We could also do this. Oh, that's even worse. Mm, okay, I mean, what is the 15 point value mark? Okay, around, let's just say 2000. We're gonna basically pump him a bunch of deals. And then we're gonna ultimatum him. I mean, we'll become untrustworthy from the ultimatum, but at this point going forward, I don't think we'll be doing anything else except for going to war with Sun Jian, so it's fine, because we're not gonna have much diplomatic options with Sun Jian at this point. So if we're just negative, we're just negative. That's fine. We pretty much got all of the unique characters in the north, which is great. And then once we pick up Yuan Tan, even though there might be a grudge, I think we have enough satisfaction to deal with that. He can go into army with Yuan Si. They can trigger each other's. Familiar's conflict. I think it's a little bit too late for Yuan Shu's army. I mean, it's pretty good with Sun Tzu right now. Don't really want to change that. Alright, that's more than enough. Let's start giving him coins to swing his uh, current towards trending. And make him like us. We're the best uncle in the world. Promise so many gifts. Alright, best friend with the uncle. Negative 11.4. Hmm, opinion. Wait, not best friend yet. Wait, wait, why did he dip? He dropped. I saw best friend, now it's gone. There we go. Oh, he swung his wider his wider diplomatic impact down. 
Lucky us, we don't even have to deal with that. No untrustworthiness. And we just absorb the north. Vassal, 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 that's fine. That is Koron's territory. We're gonna try to buy that. Path to glory, the battle of the Yuan. Can we purchase this from you? Doesn't seem like you need it. 16.8, yep, that's fine. Uh, let's make a payment. 5,000. How much? 10,000? 14,000? Sure. Alright, uniting the north. This is probably not something we have to worry about. We picked up a couple more generals here, picked up another philosopher. We don't really need it. Oh, this. No, that's not the set bonus one. We don't have the set bonus one. Interesting. All right, we're going to be recalling a few of them. I don't think we need this particular army for military strength purposes. If we're thinking about fluttering them, also positive. So we can swing her value the same way, and then we really have the entire north. And then it's basically us, Naman faction, our vassals, and Sun Jian at that point. Uh, Sun Jian and his vassals. Does she want it? No. It's going to be... You're going to just have to do it this way. Is it low? Can it be like really low? A thousand low? 500 low would be really good. No, 550. That's still good. It's easier to type. He's just so poor. And this sets us the stage for the final war. Sun Jian has been king for a long time. He hit the kingdom rank before us, before we picked up the save file, so he should have many turns to upgrade his armies. And hopefully that gives us some good battles. We still have to keep a force in the north because of the domain situation and the fact that we don't own the peninsula there, but most of the action should happen down south. Actually, across the board down south, because we also have a western front against them since they have expanded deep into Naman territory. But that might be their downfall, because I think they'll be trapped pretty deep in those forests and it's hard for them to get their armies out. The AI don't redeploy like we do. They literally do walk with their existing armies. So I don't think they'll get to they'll get to the key places that they need to get to. And we should have a pretty easy opening towards their capital. Alright, gonna have to she has no money? Can't request any money, so she's at zero. Do you have existing items? Do those go away when we confederate? Nope. Maybe one more, maybe two more. Alright, best friends. Alright, so the north is won. Domain situation is a little bit weird. They're part of this kingdom, so we can't confederate anyone because relative strength favors them. Our vassals are all pretty nice. Peaceful vassal, trusting vassal, underdog vassal. They should not rebel against us. They're not our vassal, but I think with them, we can now maybe. I uh, can't vassal now. Now it's a little awkward because they're not part of us anymore, and we might have to end up conquering them if they turn against us. We might have to keep an army in the area, but overall things look great. 
We need to look for a save point somewhere. Perhaps one of these battles. I mean, we fought everywhere already. That's the problem. All right, we might as well fix this and then maybe enter. Defender of Hebei. Mm, much rather just get Protector of Heaven. The legacy unit, but not really a legacy that we want. Yeah, now has come back. We can add him to the army. Da Qiao is in our recruitment pool. Excellent. Decided to come to us. Long Long as well. Factions wipe, so they're not spies, unless they've been recruited. In between, they have not. So our collection grows. Uh, we had to spend a bit more here, so there could be a little bit of a public order dip. Still looks pretty healthy across the board. We're fine. Let's get Yana in here. Doesn't like the strategists. It's all right. Uh, the raider is not bad. We can keep the raider. Wow, both of them don't have reach. Or flexibility for that matter. He doesn't have any of the fire boost. Okay, so... We're gonna match crossbow against crossbow versus Koron's forces. And then just go heavy cavalry for the most part. And we're out of cash. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. We inherited a lot of places that we need to take a look at the builds. We're not going to be happy with everything. But I think it's something we can look at next time. No new spies. Um, I think Swim Fu is not currently doing anything. He's one of our court position characters and he needs to level up. So if we could stick him somewhere. We're still net positive. Yeah, even with this, we're still going to be plus four. Doesn't seem like a lot. Uh, maybe we cancel a few. All right, and build that up first. Armies can be pulled back a little bit. So I, I don't think I want to recall them because this is going to be like a landing party here. This we don't need. Ah, reunited with your brother. All right. They gotta go. They're too far away. Interesting units across the board. He has a colonel? He doesn't have a colonel. How did he get Northern D infantry unit on him if he doesn't have a colonel? Alright, that army's gone. This group. A lot of bad stuff. I don't think we need the Qingzhou unit at this point. Alright, 
Alright, they're done. What other army did we inherit? This one here. Faction leader. Oh, we have ourselves a shaman finally. Okay, the rest are our armies. This one probably positioned themselves to strike here. And Joe, you should start tracking Lu Bu's movements. We'll worry about this later. Not super urgent. I think we're good. That's hard to tell with our color so close to Sun Jian's color. But our empire is vast. They're still not declaring war on us, which is interesting. Giving us plenty of time to put our armies in the right places. I think at a certain point we can beat down the Naman faction enough and then just call it quits. Oh, they do pick it up now. I'll let them have it. We sent an army here to recover it afterwards. I guess we'll have to wipe out the looters, or... They are taking in Wutugu. Sure. Ooh, Jashi dies first. We have some backup strategists. We have plenty of backup generic strategists, but like, do we want someone who gets along with the other two? No one gets along with the other two? Oh. Oh, they just don't get along with Jashu. Okay. Come on out. Ah, uh, Ludra also died. It's winter. It's the big winter purge. Doesn't get along. Alright, you would work. Lost two of our unique strategists. And someone on our bench also died. Ancestral Pledge! Maybe that's the weapon either we give to Zhao Yun or give to Sun Ce. Wait, 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 wait. Promoted to... Anding. We can steal the whole commandery. This is good. These four. Territory all ours, suddenly. Beautiful. Uh, anyways, uh, aside from having our characters die, uh, everything else is going great. We can even take this part. I mean, if we want to visually grab that, we can do it now. They have... still have the mistrust. Uh, I don't think we'll be getting any characters. We tried everyone, and just not lucky there. Thank you. And our territory grows. Uh, to get a save, that's not going to get us a save. Any other fights that we can actually take? I guess it would have to be against the Naman forces. We're not at war with anyone else now. Alright, our push into Shuhan land might have to end. We'll see if Lady Zhurong's interested in a peace deal. Because we can't go against Wutugu anymore right now. Ah, uh, she has this. Oh, that's perfect. We can slip on over there, grab that, and keep our army next to Wutugu because he's going to be a vassal. Slip our forces down, and then build up some more forces on the coast. Having some of his armies in my territory obviously doesn't feel that great. But we'll see what we can do. We probably need a few turns to just move armies to the right places, and then it's going to be just the final war against them. Unit quality, yeah, a decent mix of protector units. Mm, give or take. Still some... Lots of militias still. Oh, this one's good, except for they're all attritioned. But uh, expect some tough fights. But if we can wipe multiple armies quickly, I'm sure the swing of power probably will force them to surrender to us. And then we can just abdicate for the win. That would be the go-to plan. If not, I think we have over 95 counties already. Or 84, plus a few vassals. One, two, three... Okay, we're not there yet, but I'm sure along the way we can pick up the final eight. 
on our way to the capital. We can also just do a strike against the capital, launch two or three armies right to the door, and then go to war, snatch some free land, and just do a quick snatch of the capital for the win. That could also work. Uh, basically, we're in the end game now. So, until then, bye!